In this example, we're going to write word names for large numbers. Here are the steps for writing the word names for large numbers. So this is the process we're going to use in the next couple of examples. And basically what we're going to do is write the number between 1 and 999 in each subgrouping. So that was the hundreds, tens, and ones place value that was in each subgrouping, whether it was ones, thousands, millions, etc. We place a comma in between each subgrouping. Um, we don't write the grouping value for ones, so when we get to 373, we're not going to say 373 ones, we just omit that. And we are not going to use the word and in between the groupings. So the word and is reserved for use in between whole numbers and fractions or decimal fractions, and we haven't used any of these yet. So be careful because in common language, um, you might say 373 instead of properly saying 373. But in mathematics, we want to be really precise, and we use the word and to indicate that a decimal or a fraction is following. So let's see how this will work. Place the numbers below in the place value chart. Use the chart to assist you in writing the word name for the number. So here's how I'm going to place this in the chart. First, I'm going to see, because where do I start? Do I start here or here? Or So I'm going to count the digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this has 6 digits. And if I start from 1, that means I'm going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this 5 is going to be in the 100,000s place. 502, 502, 063. And I know I've done this correctly because my last digit ended up in the ones place in the ones subgrouping. Okay, so now let's write this word name. We're going to start from the left. And first we're going to write the word name for this, 502. Okay, so in every grouping you write the name between 0 and 1,000. So, 5 hundred two now we're going to write the subgrouping and we leave off the s so five hundred two thousand then we put a comma just like there's a comma in every three in our writing of the numbers now we're going to write the word name for this well zero six three we would just state this as 63. 60, and remember we put a hyphen in between the tens place word and the units place word if neither of them are zero. And we don't write ones after the ones. For any other grouping, we would write the grouping, but not for ones. So we have 502,063. Let's look at the next one. It's a little bit harder. It has more digits. So notice I have, I'm going to use one grouping, two grouping, three groupings, one grouping, two grouping, three groupings. So this number is going to start writing in the million spot. So I'm going to write the digits 2, 1, 0, 0, 3, 5, 4, 0, 7. There's my millions. There's my thousands, and there's my ones. So I'm going to start with the largest grouping. So here, this number reads 210. So I'm going to write 210, and then follow it by the subgrouping million. Remember to leave off the S. 210 million then the comma, just like you see in the chart. Here we have 35, 0, 3, 5 is 35. And that is 35,000, because it's in the thousand subgrouping, comma, 407. Four hundred seven and we don't use the subgrouping for ones and again notice we didn't use the word end anywhere in here 
Okay, we have commas in between each of the subgroupings of numbers, and we wrote the corresponding name from 0 to 999 for each of the subgroupings.